So hi everyone, good morning to all. Let's start our session for today. And sorry for a little bit of confusion. So no worry. From next week we'll fix everything on time. Okay. So just let me set up everything and then we'll start. All right. So let me open my PPT. All right, so let me share my screen. So hope my screen is visible to everyone, right? Yes, yes. Yes. Good, good, good. So before I can start the session, I always prefer to ask the, like if we have any question, feel free to ask me right now. So probably I'll try to help you, you know, explain those query. Anything from the previous class, study class, because you guys must have done some homework after the class. No, we didn't receive any recording session from your side. Definitely, definitely you will get the recording session very soon. Okay. And uh, probably today class and yesterday class, both recording is going to be, you know, share uh, today only. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That will be very helpful to <coughs> go through the topics. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know that will be very helpful. Definitely. It will be. Okay. So. Let me start. Okay, so what we'll do today, we'll little bit do the lab configuration part as well because yesterday I showed about the how the lab has been fully configured about some features, but what I'm trying to do today, just from the scratch, this lab doesn't have any configuration. So let me start the lab as well for time being. So I'll after the theoretical concept. Uh, probably 45 minute or one hour i'll try to do some basic configuration as well so you guys understand how the configuration is going to happen initial level of this sd band fabric okay so this is what i'm going to explain today so let's first focus about the theoretical part where we discussed a lot of things yesterday we discussed about the control plane we discussed about data plane we discussed about the switch fabric right we discussed about the how the you know uh sd band come in a picture when we compare to the legacy sd band and what was the benefits different benefits uh means we have done discussion about this sd band and the legacy band uh about that all like comparative analysis we have done so that part also we have done discussion where is my slide yeah <clears throat> so that already we have done discussion and we also understand why we need sd band solution and we discuss about the Closed box, uh, closed box architecture we discuss about the open box architecture so we are going to move forward right so we'll try to understand how these different different component come in a picture in the sd band solution and what are the like functionality of those components because we know that there is a controller there is a switch fabric and there is a io model but why basically we use this and how basically they are going to integrate in the actual sd band solution okay so if we talking about the SDN solution, we having a three flavors, right? Probably I'll explain this all, <clears throat> but let me just give the little bit brief idea about that. So SDN having a three flavors that is known as a software defined network. This software defined network having a total three product. That first one is the SD van you can think. The second one you can think about the SD LAN. Sir, a question. Tha. Yes. मैं ये कह रहा था कि सर जो अभी जैसे वो आ रहा है एच डी वैन सिस्को का उसमें जैसे कैटेलिस्ट वगैरह का कुछ आ रहा है तो उसमें कुछ मेजर डिफरेंसेस है क्या है सर कुछ आइडिया हो ओके ये आई जस्ट कवर्ड दैट पार्ट आल्सो सो द कैटेलिस्ट एच डी वैन आई बिलीव यू यू वर इन द लास्ट क्लास ऑफ माय लास्ट डिस्कशन व्हाट इज द मेजर डिफरेंस लेट मी जस्ट ब्रीफ दैट ओके सो ऑलरेडी आई हैव कवर्ड दैट सो इफ यू गो ऑन द YouTube चैनल you will find one of the detailed discussion about that <clears throat> let me show you let me share that video that we discuss about very detail i have done discussion the new and old one comparative analysis but still i'm sharing the video to you all okay, okay. so 
I'll I'll give the brief idea about that also. Okay, no need it to worry about that. Yesterday class or two or three days. No, no, no. It's uh, last week. I have just taken the open session for everyone just for the awareness. There, okay. where I just discuss about that. Okay. Yes. So SDN having this is software defined networking. Software net defined networking having a three component. That is the first is the SD WAN. Second is the SD LAN. That is also known as the SD access. And the third one is the ACI. So SD WAN is the completely for the WAN solution. So whatever the van like we just want to send and receive traffic from the inside of your office to outside of your network that definitely required the van but when you talk about the complete land traffic means you just want to communicate within the land so how you make the like uh, good intelligence within the land that is going to help with the help of the sd land or sd access this is a another component okay now Third one is for the data center. So this is for the pure LAN and this is for the data center. That is the application centric infrastructures. So this is going to use for the data center. So if you have the data center where you want to use the leaf in a spine concept, then it is the ACI is going to come in a picture. So this is also very like uh, powerful product from the Cisco. So these all three are the next generation product and every product having their own controllers. Likewise, this is main control is the vManage. For this main control is DNAC, and for this main control is the APIC, right? So, <clears throat> likewise, the V manage a central pan of glass. Similarly, DNAC is a central pan of glass, and APIC is a central pan of glass. By sitting on the APIC, you can do all the ACI related stuff, configuration management, troubleshooting. Similarly, by sitting on the DNAC, <clears throat> you can do the all like uh, sd lan sd access fabric configuration management troubleshooting similarly in the cisco sd van you can do the v manage you can just log in it and you can do all the configuration so this is like sdn component and so we are just covering one of the part of this sdn we are not covering all three parts because if you want to cover these all there are different different cores are designed to cover it okay so this is what we are going to cover Pankaj. That uh, AC is the data center access yes. concept. Yes. But DNAC is the same LAN concept. It uh, involved to data center or involved to the uh, uh, sublocation branch office. So it's more. It, it's more about the branch locations. But if you want to even implement this solution in data center, you can do that because some okay. data center having the big LAN environment so you can integrate but more specific ACIH for the more data center stuff but DNAC is also yes. compatible with the LAN and uh, data center also so you can integrate that part also okay. there is no problem okay, okay. both uh, <clears throat> branch and data center both yes 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 it's like up to you okay. right okay. yes Gaurav you raise your hand please yes sir uh, what I'm saying to you sir here uh, what how many types of onboarding the VH how many types of onboarding to VH means yes sir means uh, one is the process of pnp one is the manual one is the like uh, other way like cli command so that, how that, many that, types that's of... like there is like the jtp or pnp is the one way right these two are the same okay mm -hmm. then manual is a, like the normal bootstrap configuration you use and by using that bootstrap configuration you can onboard the like uh, uh, any any kind of the VH or CH devices. There is the most like common bootstrap configuration. You just required some basic configuration by using that the basic configuration on board that. The third one is like <clears throat> you again we can call as the basic system wise configuration. Again, this is the part of the bootstrap configuration. So you just define the five tuple system wise configuration by defining the five tuple information. That five tuple is like your host name. I'll come this all part later state than the system IP address. And the org name, and the fourth we one is the it. we want it till right, and the fifth one is the what am I saying? Uh, host name, system IP, org name, we want one more thing site ID, sir. Site ID, yes, <clears throat> site ID. These five tuples mandatory without this site tuple, uh, without these five tuples, you cannot onboard this your. So we'll discuss later stage when I cover. So, so this is done in notes, sir. Uh, for for all the four process step by step, there is a notes pro will be provided by R not. Yeah, it's already available. It's already available. Every notes is already every lab guides available. So when you go for this lab guides, so let's suppose you want to onboard <coughs> any other device. Let's 
think about you are just going to onboard the VS device. See, this is the system which configured. This is the first thing, five tuples. You can see. Okay. And okay. JTP process already we going to understand how the JTP process is going to happen in this section. So we'll understand the step by step of how the JTP process is going to happen. So these all the steps. So these are the part of the syllabus we'll cover in the latest stretch. Okay. How things so is so going to happen. Anybody will ask the how to uh, process by the JTP. So I will just uh, share the step which is mentioned in this PPT. Yeah, definitely. You have to tell all 11 steps because there is a total 11 steps how the one VH is going to be onboarded by the user JTP and mm -hmm. what all the process is going to happen because there is a lot of catch to understand the process. So all processes are written here. I'll explain in the later stage. What uh, are Bang those? those? Uh, Bangaj. Hmm. Yeah, Bangaj, sorry for that. That process happening uh, in build or how? Automatically. Automatic in build automatically it is going to happen. No need to do anything. So I, I'll explain how the configuration is going to happen, how the process is going to be initiated, why it is going to work on the JTB process, why not required in the manual process. So hold you guys your thoughts because we are the day zero stage. We are just we are discussing the component part. Later stage we, when we move to the one by one in the all section, then I'll explain a step by step. If I go right now, then probably you guys will be confused and probably not understand. Uh, the basic idea of the sd van and the component of the sd van so definitely i'll start the configuration today but let's first uh, understand some theoretical part first okay <clears throat> sure sir understood understood yeah. thank you thank you so much guys for understanding okay so moving next so moving next uh, 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 where i was talking yes so i was talking about uh, let me just go here i was talking about the solution before that solution, I was talking about the SDN component. So SDN component, we summarize, we having a three comp, uh, three product in the SDN. Especially we are talking about the Cisco, that Cisco SD and Cisco, Cisco SD access and ACI. And we are just touching today as a Cisco SD band. Recently, you might heard because um, uh, who was the question uh, that I believe the question asked by the Gaurav Tyagi, like what is the new announcement from the Cisco? So there is a new announcement from the Cisco where earlier it was known as the Viptela SD WAN, right? So first you know, understand the what is the history. Then they rename as a Cisco SD WAN, right? And now they SD WAN. Viptela is one of the company <clears throat> earlier. Yeah. Yes. So the first name was the Viptela SD WAN, then second name is the Cisco SD WAN, then third name is the Catalyst SD WAN. So there are three versions comes in the Viptela, like this SD WAN solution. But if you understand, these all are same. There is no much difference is going to happen, right? So what is going to happen? Let me just open something to just show you. <clears throat> Yes. Actually, sir, I was asking because the Viptela is a different company. Catalyst. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just. So they did major changes or the minor changes in the software or. Uh, there is no much. I'm just showing that what change is going to happen. Okay. <clears throat> So this is the latest release 20.12.1, right? When the release has been done from the Cisco site, the name has been changed from the Viptela SD WAN to Cisco SD WAN. It's become the Catalyst SD WAN, right? So this is this is the new from the 20.11 series, 20.12 series. These are the latest version they have done the release right now. I believe the few months back they have done the release. So it's just rebranding. It's just rebranding. So originally when the SD WAN was developed, that was Cisco doesn't develop this SD WAN. <clears throat> Viptela was the company who basically designed this SD WAN and Cisco just acquired those company and just start selling the product. But they having some kind of agreement, they just keep using their Viptela name instead of the Cisco SD WAN. So that's why you find every device name 
like the vh c uh, like the vh v manage v bond because the v stand for viprela edge v viprela manage and viprela like uh, what we say the bond and the viprela smart so you can see here we having the component see here so v bond is the v bond i'll explain the responsibility v manage the v manage that viprela manage v smart and the vh these are the four component they have designed and developed designing and developing these all four component let us cisco acquired that and on behalf of the viprela because already is a part of the cisco company they start selling their product later stage they introduce the something new they introduce something new that is the ch right that is known as cisco edge right so this they developed the cisco edge but they it keep remain the same like the v bond remain the same v manage remain the same and v smart remain the same but this is going to be your ch so now it also integrated the cisco edge device when they developed the cisco edge like the ch device they also rebranding its name as a cisco sd van but the underlying controller component is the same like v bond is the same v manage is the same v smart is a controller not going to be changed and not going to rename but only we having a two flavor of the edge edge one is the viptela that device is going to manufacture by the viptela right let me show you that device so these are the devices the actual routers of the viptela so when they are going to use these routers based on this routers when you are going to use it is known as the vh but cisco also provide the solution if you having the existing asr or isr router you can just change your image like from the legacy ios to the sd wan image once you upgrade the image and take the license this is also become the sd wan router so let's say suppose customer having already their asr and isr in their network why they are going to purchase these boxes <clears throat> they have to spend huge money so if you don't want to spend huge money so basically you just upgrade your os from this particular routers and take the license with the minimum cost and you are the now part of the sd wan fabric so that's why they just rename that asr or isr router when it's compatible with the sd wan solution they just rename as the cs cisco edge so this was the second development right but your controller are going to remain same it is not going to be change v bond v manage and v smart and it was happening till this software till one, more, one more question pankaj uh, can we convert uh, ucs boxes into uh, cisco edge ucs, UCS. box UCS, ucs is ucs is something like the uh, these are the like uh, storage right yeah it's used for uh, the cisco prime like the, uh, the communicate no uh, there is a predefined some uh, hardware that can be only converted the hardware in the virtual image the ucs is not there in list so that cannot be possible okay okay <clears throat> so this is how the idea has been shifted from the cisco sd wan uh, from the yeah. to cisco sd wan any other question sir batch is starting since 10 am or 11 am sir so that is going to start from 10 am only but due to some confusion today it was just rescheduled for 11 am okay so just for today only but the class originally is going to happen from the 10 am from next week onward okay request pankaj uh, abhishek sir inform me today is no class so i am joining delay yeah yeah actually just started batch like there was some confusion uh, apologize for that but definitely this is going to be happen after uh, uh, next week it is going to be corrected okay okay sir thank you Okay. All right. So moving next. So Bangad, we understand. Bangaj. <coughs> yeah, Bangaj. Sorry for yeah. the interrupt. Ah, uh, only that DS or IS or only support for SD1 software or how? There, there is more. Ah, uh, there is more. more. Yes, there is a few more devices also available. I'll show you. Okay, in the list, actual list, I'll show you. Okay, what all devices okay. are available. Yes, some virtual image are also okay. available. But hardware point of view, okay. just think about the IS or IS or devices. Okay. <clears throat> So and now both will support the Pankaj. Uh, yes, virtual and uh, hardware both will support this. Image. Both, 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 okay. both. Yeah, both okay. will support. Thank you. So 
this v bond v manage v smart was still known as the cisco has given viprela has given till this 2010 image but recently they developed the 2011 12 12 where they again did the rebranding they again did the rebranding so what they have done <clears throat> they name v bond as a validator right v manage is the just manager and v smart they just name as a controller and this age is going to be just age if you are taking the viprela age this is going to remain same or if you are taking the cisco that is known as the catalyst sd ban so that is how it is going to happen so now they just rename it and make that your device is just known as the like this solution is just known as the catalyst sd ban right so overall the solution here we can write here so this is a new solution but trust me nothing is going to be change in terms of the configuration policy and deployment only name is going to be change this validator again it is going to remain doing the same function as a v bond this v manage again going to do that the same work what rename as a manager this v smart going to do the same work even it rename as the controller clear so it's just the rebranding the thing so sometime company do the rebranding to sell their product with adding some few features yes goro please ask your course question sir is there any main difference with between the vas and uh, no between the catalyst sd1 and viprela sd1 is there a main, no ma main? no major difference only is a rebranding just rebranding rebranding re no major difference only the ios has been changed you will mm -hmm. find some kind of the new look dashboards nothing else is going to be changed it's just rebranding and trust me even they rebranding it but even you are planning to do the cci labs okay if you are going to do as per the new rebranding solutions and rename it is not going to come in the cci lab for the next one year at least it is just going to use the legacy one because their lab is just set up for the still on the 20 series or 19 series of the versions for cci labs so okay <clears throat> so it's just rebranding okay no need to worry about that okay okay now moving to the component part okay so yesterday we have done the very deep dive about the all solution but how this solution has been further segregated in this slide we understand we having the control planes but even the control planes we having a sub planes and this control plane has been divided into multiple sub planes so we just have to understand and then we have to understand the data plane as well okay so here if you see that control plane having a three devices you can see one is the v bond one is the v manage one is the v smart so if i am seeing something as a control plane so it is just combination of the three devices but further these three devices has been segregated into three different plane one is known as the orchestration plane one is known as the management plane and one is again rename as the control planes right and the last but not least the data plane and data plane is your actual router it could be the vh or could be the ch so i hope you understand what is the vh what is the ch i hope nobody having the any query about it if i have please let me know your orchestration plane going to like uh, deal by the v bond so v bond is the one of the device who going to stay on the orchestration plane so this is known as the v bond and this is the very powerful your management plane is v manage your control plane is the v smart right data plane is the yeah v smart so why we use these all devices so let me just give the little bit idea and then we'll go the uh, deeper side about the every functionality right so if we talk about orchestration plane so this is single point of the contact for any kind of the onboarding likewise i have given the example yesterday sd wan always 
follow the zero trust fabric rule right zero trust fabric so what does mean zero trust fabric zero trust fabric that means if you are trying to join my fabric by default it is deny means you are not allowed to join you are going to be dropped by default unless or until you are going to prove your identity if you fail to prove your identity you are going to be dropped so your v manage sorry your v bond is responsible to do that all checks so uh, again i'm repeating that statement what i given in study class let's suppose you are going to join any of the organization right your organization having the hr who having a responsibility any day zero like engineer is going to join the company they will do the joining formalities and while doing the joining formality they will verify your all credentials likewise your your certificates your pan card your aadhar card your passport and other id proofs whatever they are going to require and once they happy with your all credentials then they will introduce they will welcome to company and then they will introduce to your manager right hey this is your manager or team lead or your team and then he further introduce to all the your team leads so you right further hr further your manager right or might be team lead and then your colleagues so you <coughs> let's suppose new device any new device this could be the vh ch or even the controllers any device right any controllers device also hr is it is fix responsibility we want manager is it's the we manage colleagues is all branch site clear so <clears throat> first you joining the company you have to prove your identity then we want further going to introduce to your we manage we manage further going to or by the help of the we smart i'll just tell the just i'm say, saying this is the high level so just you understand but in the low level i'll explain how things is going to actually work in the reality but in the high level you understand how the things is going to be happen and then your colleagues is going to be into that is a nothing it's all branch sites so your branch site looks like in this way let me show you so these are the all your branch site so this is going to be introduced to the all your branch site how you are going to communicate to the fabric so orchestration plane is the one of the key things where v bond is going to stay and v bond is going to be do all your work to just control the fabric authenticate the fabric and then introduce to your all manager colleagues whatever you have okay once you it is going to onboarded you his responsibility is going to be done and it will do some other works also i'll explain later stage what other works is going to be done by the we want but the primary is just onboarding the devices okay clear we want so this is the we want going to the we manage right so we manage the single pan of glass so it is a single pan of glass that means by sitting in this we manage you can basically do all configuration of the devices all t shoot you can do troubleshooting you can do policy creation any kind of day day to day activity reporting and everything right you can do via the we manage so it is just a very powerful tool this single pan of glass by sitting on this we manage you can do all your things management configuration troubleshooting log reports whatever you want to do that you can do that now it is also sometime code as a single tenant and sometimes known as the multi tenants so probably people is going to ask what is a single tenant what is a multi tenants right just think about if i am saying a single tenant so what does mean so i'm just giving one of the example so you can understand easily let's just suppose this is one of your router right this router having one routing table and what is we known as 
this is known as the global routing table we all already know that <clears throat> so this is the global routing table so when once we having the multiple entry point means different different isp is sending the route right the all route route is going to stay in the global routing table this is a normal scenario right so when we store all of the routing in the single routing table that is known as the global routing table <clears throat> but let's say, suppose i create the separate vrf like i just divide the routing table in the four part the vrf a vrf b vrf c and the one is a global routing table so now my router resource has been divided in the four part and it can be allocated to different different customer so any routing in this domain cannot see by default to this and this and this so all are going to be isolated so now my resource has been divided into multiple part this is the routing table and the vrf concept we know that so once we having a single routing table that is a global routing table you just think about the single tenant right <clears throat> means you are not sharing your resource similarly that means you having one vmanage right an entire vmanage just dedicated to one customer that is known as a single tenant but when you just split the resources of the vmanage into multiple part like the a b c and d then it is going to be known as the multi tenant means the same resource of the device you just divide into the multiple part like you just you have heard about the like <coughs> pg right so pg might be we having a system we can use the two beds so this is the shared might be you are going to stay here and someone your friend or might be the other unknown person is going to stay here so this room has been shared so this is the known as the multi tenant right tenant you know that we are just you know taking something on the rent and if you are just taking one pg and you are just paying like for the one bed for yourself so it is known as single tenant but you have to pay more for here pay more here you pay less because you are just sharing your resources sharing one resource with the two people so this is the concept of the single tenant and multi tenant so don't be confused if someone is going to ask please make them understand what is the meaning of the single tenant and multi tenant so our single pan of glass is responsible for the all configuration <clears throat> all troubleshooting any kind of the policy template that are part of the configuration day to day activity like reporting logging anything you want to do ping trace that is all going to be happen from the management plane right in addition of that it can be known as a single tenant and multi tenant we know what is the meaning of single tenant and multi tenant right so i hope it is clear to everyone moving to the third component right <coughs> this we understand this we understand this is the v is smart so what is the v is smart so v is smart is just one of the component you can think about this is the brain of sd wan this v is smart is the brain of the sd wan because all intelligence all sd wan fab fabric intelligence is going to handle by the v smart and what is the intelligence like the policy about the routing about the ip security <clears throat> this all is going to handle by the v smart so any routing decisions in a fabric you want to take that always going to <clears throat> taken care by your v smart uh, sorry uh, sorry v smart is the only responsible devices so he is just going to do the policy he is just going to do the routing ip sec key exchange everything is going to run by the v smart so it is the controller so all routing is going to be stored in the brain and brain having a responsibility to share the routing information to different different branch locations i'll show how it is going to be happen so you guys can under yes please so pangash uh, i have one doubt so we we manage and uh, we sumat both are different means that uh, we sumat only that collection that routing process and we manage is the creation is correct we manage you can do the config creation there but okay. it is going to configuration is going to deploy to the devices but okay. routing decision is going to taken by the v smart 
even okay. you can define the routing in the v manage but it is just going to just think about this way let's say suppose uh, you having one notepad okay i'm just basic very basic example in okay. notepad you create the you know some static route right in notepad but you just copy the route this route uh, static route and paste to the router so your configuration creation is happening on the notepad but you are pasting through the router so this is a doing by the v manage you just creating the configuration and you just pushing to the routers or the controllers then it is going mm -hmm. to take the decision on it yeah that's what the configuration cre configuration creation is the v manage right ambanganja i have one more query here uh, what is the difference between v smart and v burn uh, uh, v1 you are saying that v1 validating some thing right v1 what? yes yeah uh -huh. v bond is just two responsibility one you understand it's a primary responsible to just onboard any devices any devices even v manage also going to contact first to v bond even even new v bond is introducing to your company it is also going to contact to the v bond serving active v bond any v smart is going to come that is also going to first to v bond any v is going to come Yeah, we want in the like it will complete the process of the authentication. <coughs> yes, authenticator, main authenticator means if yeah. you are new to the company, you have to prove your identity first to your HR or your security personnel. Then only you go, you are allowed to go inside of the company. Similarly, we want it just authenticator, nothing else. One more work they have that is a NAT. I'll every cover. every component should communicate with we want first, right? Yes, a first time you always have to reach to we want. Without reaching to V bond, you the cannot. V bond, V bond only validating all the things, right? Yes, it's a validator. That's why okay. name also name rename as the new Cisco SD band. V bond just rename as the validator. Sir, when now we start a Hindi batch. Uh, Hindi batch. अगर कोई दिक्कत आ रही है आप पूछ सकते हो सौरभ हिंदी में कोई दिक्कत बात नहीं बट दिस बैच चाहिए था मेरे को आपसे पहले भी बात हुई थी आप बोल रहे थे जल्दी स्टार्ट करेंगे अभी तक स्टार्ट ही नहीं हुआ नहीं एक बैच हमारा हुआ था पीछे एस डी बैंक हिंदी में आपने बोला था ना वो अभी आधा हो चुका है अभी नेक्स्ट बैच स्टार्ट करेंगे चलो हम बात करते हैं ठीक है लेट्स लेट्स फर्स्ट कंटिन्यू दिस सेशन ओके सौरभ विल डिस्कस अबाउट दिस ओके all right so it's become the validator so validator is something where it is just going to validate the devices right we manage is something where we can do all configuration right and it is going to push to the devices we smart is just brain nervous system of the sd wan it is responsible for the just understand routing all routing and any kind of the intelligence like the policy right <clears throat> any kind of the ip sec key exchange this is going to responsible clear so these are the three control plane devices and i hope you guys understand let me just repeat in the documentation point of view but just understand the high level view the next thing is vh this is your actual router it's nothing it's a router by the help of the router you can basically do the actual site level packet switch from one port to another port means your lan is going to be connected so any pack you are you are receiving from the lan you want to send to the wan you can do that or within the lan you want to send you can do via the this router this could be the vh or could be the ch ch is the cisco edge v is the vpl edge right so this is known as a data plane devices it could be the physical box or it could be the virtual box <coughs> the router could be physical but this device is never ever going to be physical box this always going to be virtual okay this all will be the virtual they are not a physical device but this routers can be the physical or can be the virtual so in our labs everything is a virtual because we are doing this lab and we cannot integrate the hardwares these are all are in the virtual but if you see that some component of the sd wan of the edge devices let me show you if you we already covered like we want is orchestration two main function i told that is a facilitate discovery control plane element vh routers notify their public ip nat so nat function i'll explain this all again okay with a better way 
but let us say the controller can always deploy in the cloud or might be the your esxi or kvm there is no hardware you can only find the image so if you want to deploy the vbond you will get the virtual image we manage you will get the virtual image we smart you will get the virtual image you all with the virtual you can deploy in the esxi kvm or servers <coughs> because there is no dedicated hardware suppose mere pe koi existing server hai to main us pe kar sakta hu हाँ आप कर सकते हैं बिल्कुल कर सकते हैं है ना देखो इसको होस्टेड भी हम कर सकते हैं यू कैन होस्ट इट दूस एन एजोर एज वेल सो यू कैन हैव दिस टू डिप्लॉयमेंट में दिस इज फॉर द कंट्रोलर देर इज नो फिजिकल अपलायसेस ओके क्लियर मूविंग नेक्स्ट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द राउटर्स दिस कुड बी द फिजिकल दिस कुड बी द हार्डवेयर so majority of the case of the branch location will find main kv server ke upar kvm dal ke aur ye dalta hu matlab image dalta hu to isme hmm. license mangega matlab right ha license mangega definitely bina license ke chalega nahi hai license hmm. aapko arrange karna padega theek hai okay. nahi jaise image dal ke matlab wo run kar de to usme usme nahi nahi sd wan mein pura full function license chahiye aapko bina license ka aapka sd wan chal hi nahi sakta hai theek hai sir theek hai वो मैं बताऊंगा कि कैसे आपके लाइसेंस के पैसे बताने हैं ठीक है <laughs> अभी सारी लैब मैं करूंगा तो यू गेट क्योंकि मैंने तो अभी इसको से लाइसेंस करने जाऊंगा तो लाखों में होगी तो उतना तो कोई पे ही नहीं कर पाएगा सो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू डू दैट ऑल राइट सो वट इज अ वर्क अराउंड टू गेट दैट ऑल वर्कबल हमारे पास तरीका है बाई यूजिंग दो थिंग्स विल डू द एक्चुअल लाइसेंसिंग एंड विल गेट द ऑल फ्यूचर एक्टिवेटेड राइट सर गोट इट तो This could be the hardware that is a VH thousand, VH two thousand, or छोटे routers भी हमारे पास है VH hundred और एक हमारे पास VH five thousand three हैं और भी model हैं इसे ये सारे hardware साम के right so these are going to be happen in this way so VH can be deployed in the on premises or can be the hosted or can be the hardware <coughs> ये इसके तीन model hardware खरीद सकते हो तो ये सब भी मिलेंगे अगर आप इसको ऑन प्रेमिसेस इफ यू वांट टू डिप्लॉय दिस कैन बी डिप्लॉय इफ यू वांट टू डिप्लॉय इन द होस्टेड इट इज आल्सो पॉसिबल यू कैन डिप्लॉय इन द होस्टेड इन द डब्ल्यूएस इन कैजुर एजुर एज वेल राइट सो दिस इज द डिप्लॉयमेंट मेथड ऑफ द डिवाइसेस मूविंग नेक्स्ट इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द फर्दर डीपर साइड अबाउट दिस डिवाइस फंक्शनलिटी इन ऑफिशियल आउटलाइन ऑफ द कोर्स सो विल सी इट the first is the v bond so likewise i explain v bond is known as a orchestration plane control plane or management plane also known as the validator so the first thing of the v manage is if you want to validate anything uh, v bond is going to validate that things so that's why it's become the orchestration plane so first point of the authentication white listing model so it is just going to authenticate validate then it is going to distribute the information whatever they have received to other devices <clears throat> like whatever the information they receive from the end device point of view this is going to distribute to v smart v manage and the v edge routers that's why i told like the v bond is going to further communicate with the managers in your colleagues so your information is going to pass to everyone so everyone come to know hey someone joined to my company someone joined to my company so Bangar, this <coughs> yeah sorry for the interrupt initially you told uh, that uh, we smart we manage should come any first time going to communicate with the we bond am i right once the we bond is validating all the policy and uh, routing after it will respond back to that we smart we manager how yes after that it is going to re respond back. once they validate then mm -hmm. it is going to distribute the information with the v smart v manage and on v edge routers all the v edge routers before they are not going to do that okay 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 all right so this is about the your uh, orchestration plane device now one more major functionality of the v bond is a nat so every nat traverses let's say suppose your device is behind of the you know <clears throat> nat device so if you want to do the nat traverses nat mapping so it is just going to done by the v bond so all nat information nat mapping is going to manage by the v bond so this is the second responsibility of the v bond only two major responsibility one is just onboarding the devices authenticating the devices validating the devices and second all are the same second is 
just performing the NAT functionality if you have to NAT available in your network. So it is just going to perform by your orchestration plane. Right? Yes, public to private, it will. Yes, public to private. It's all mapping is going to happen. Okay, I'll explain how it is going to happen in later stage. Okay, and what is the so compared to the all uh, NAT related policy will be resided in this orchestration unit under the no, 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 no. Policy is not residing in the orchestration plane. There is no policy, there is no routing. Only it is just validator. It is just going to validate you. You are right or wrong. They just okay. having the your credential information. Let us suppose you are traveling somewhere, right? So your passport is going to validate by the passport or like the um, uh, immigration team in the airport, right? So they are just going to validate you are right or wrong. And then further after going inside of the plane, you might be go with the various security checks. You just go with the, your uh, uh, flight ticket, ticket checks uh, and many other things you have to do. But first, to enter in the airport, you just have to validate everything is fine or not from your visa and your passport point of view. So this is the first point and inside might be having a lot of checks once you did the validators or other action is going to happen. Like actual flight is going to take and fly from there. So routing is going to happen via the flight. But before the routing, your validation is must. So onboarding validation is going to happen by the orchestration plane that is the VBOR. This is the one major say the primary function of the v1 there is no routing there is no policy only second thing NAT information is going to happen managed by the v1 clear to everyone yes yes point. only that uh, NAT only that uh, validator is correct or wrong the yes NAT, yes, NAT and valid that, that's two things nothing else so, so and, other things the configuration everything will do that we manage only I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just you focus this, we won't. I'm coming one by one, everyone. Okay, so you'll sure, sure. try to make a note, okay? Sure, sure. Why it's a highly resilience? Why it's a highly resilience? So in actual production environment, you require the two we want. Right? So why two we want? Because if let's suppose one somehow get failed. So you require the resiliency, right? So you always require the resilience, highly resilient. So you have to make the cluster of the we manage, we bound and we smart all should be in the cluster. So if one goes down, another will take the role. So this is how you can basically do the validation part. Okay. Both <clears throat> so, bounds are in same location or a different location? No, it could be any locations. Any it location. could be the any geo location or could be the same location. But okay. most of the company preferred, let's suppose you having the one data center in the US. So they put one location there and one in, let's suppose in the Dubai, so they can put in the, or Frankfurt, they can put the second in there. So this is how they make the resiliency. So if my one authenticator is going to be down, so I'll switch the traffic to another authenticator. Thank you. All right. So this is the second thing. Now moving next. Now it's the management plane. That is the new terminology known as the manager. It's renamed. If you learn about the catalyst SD band terminology, this has been renamed as the manager. So this manager is or we manage is the both are the same. It's responsible for day zero, day one, day two operations. So what are your day zero, day two, day two operations? That is something by using this all you can do all configuration, all management, all operations. So this that's why I keep saying this is a single pan of glass to do everything. Like every configuration, you can do that. <clears throat> but you are doing the configuration. It doesn't mean it having the any kind of intelligence. No, it's just the device where you can do the configuration. But the configuration is going to push to the actual brains or actual routers who is have to process the routing engines decisions in the data plane traffic. So this is the management plane. So it is a known as a single pan of glass and which is responsible for day zero, day one, day two operation works. It can be the multi tenant or the single tenant, which I explained clearly what does mean centralized provisioning means <clears throat> because it's the single device by sitting on the vManage and 
you can do every work like you can do the troubleshooting you can do the configuration you can do any kind of the checks log reporting so it is a centralized provisioning no need to uh, jump what about uh, what about that backup is it possible to take backup from vmanage for all ch routers so backup by default it is available all configuration is available in the vmanage so if you want to like it also going to work in the cluster means one device is going to down another will come in a picture so your backup will be always available so just think about it's the tool right let's suppose <coughs> you having the laptop right your laptop hang, having your some data so till the time your laptop is working your all backup is available inside the laptop right you can always copy and use that backups right but if it is dead so you lost the all backup so what you do you might be having a similar laptop ready where you can just replicate all the data so even this date you can retrieve the data from here if not then probably you lose everything so similarly in the vmanage we having the two set of the vmanage because this is the going to act as the high vigilance <clears throat> so in any region this vmanage is going to be down or corrupt or dead for some region still my data is available in this but still if you want to integrate this we manage with third party tools which is not recommended because it's going to be add on extra cost to just take the configuration backup you can do that also but it is not required it's a powerful all backup is always going to be available and it's a cloud based device so there is a high very low chance it is going to be you know destroy all the data and always also you're going to use the resiliency part okay so yeah sure so v analytics is like the part of the uh, see this v analytics is not part of the cisco uh, sd band terminology but you just think about uh, uh, we can integrate to just analysis with the like let me show you where was some let me just show one slide so you can understand probably in this also so see third party uh, integration right third party integration v analytics so this is just for the analyzing the your all the reports logs database configuration your health of the devices this can be do by the v analytics so this is something where you can analyze your database like oh, oh, whatever the configuration i have done you can analyze your health of the devices your circuit utilization so this is the something is known as a v analytics but you don't have to use this okay it is always going to every functionality is going to use it within the v manage and that is also referred as a v analytics because you can just refer every reports every utilization everything from the v manage itself right so moving next you can do the centralized provisioning you can create the policies and templates i said like the v manage you can do the troubleshooting and monitoring you can do the software upgrade process from the v manage you can do the graphical user interface rollback access whatever you want to define the roles for the particular user you can do that also possible you can do the third party integration with the help of the rest api and it is going to highly uh like Bangladesh. Bangladesh. sorry for the interrupt uh, actually no we, smart, we smart only going to create some policies right here also we can possible no no see we every things configuration every configuration is going to happen in the v manage understand there is no configuration is going to happen in the v v smart the configuration yeah. is going to happen on the v manage and this is going to push the configuration to the v smart Okay. So V Smart will only take the configuration, but there is no configuration you can do manually on the V Smart. This is uh, this is act as a dashboard, right? Sorry, dashboard. This is just dashboard where we can do the all configuration. Okay. Sir, can so, I get the document? Yes, you can get the document. Definitely, this is all document you will get. Okay. Okay. So जो पहले वाले हैं ना उनमें है नहीं है सर मिलता है या क्या अच्छा पहले वाले में नहीं होंगे यार ऐसा नहीं होगा हंड्रेड परसेंट होगा नहीं होगा तो मैं देख लेता हूँ अभी ठीक है ठीक है सो 
moving next so we understand what the we manage right and uh, after we manage we having a next step is the we smart next one is a we smart and we smart is something like it is responsible likewise immense for the all routings this is the brain nervous system of the controllers so facilitate fabric discovery so what does mean so facilitate fabric discovery that mean with the help of the routing informations it is going to connect one branch to another branch to do the communications dissimulate the control pin information between the edge <clears throat> what is the control again it's like the your routing informations so whatever the routing let's suppose in this scenario let's suppose this is the one edge he want to talk this edge want to talk to this edge so they having their lan subnet might be the lan subnet is 10.10.10.0/24 and here we having the lan subnet 172.16 10.0/24. These are two LAN subnets we have. They want to communicate. So first, they will go to the V Smart. <clears throat> hey, I want to talk to this LAN. V Smart is going to tell how you can reach to this device. It's just going to tell the routing. So probably routing will tell you can reach via the MPLS. Then it is going to come via the MPLS. it is just going to tell the routing it is your routing is not going to happen in this way communication is not going to happen in this way it is just going to tell the routing you can reach via the mpls or the internet or the 4g i'll cover it later how it is going to happen so your routing is going to give to any s devices from the vsmart and then once you having a routing you can test take the local decision to reach to the any other branch location So this is the dissimulate control plane information. Nice. Also, routing decisions जो लेगा वो V smart लेगा ना मेरे? हाँ V smarty routing decision लेगा but routing decision लेकर ये खुद कुछ नहीं करेगा. This is going to give the routing decision to the V edge. It is just going to give the instruction to the V edge. If you want to talk, just follow this routing and go this way. Suppose जैसे routing tables वगैरह बनेंगे वो सब V smart के अंदर ही बनेंगे जो. समझो बात को राउटिंग टेबल इज गोइंग टू क्रिएट इन दी एच वी स्मार्ट के पास भी रहेगा इट इज गोइंग टू क्रिएट दन राउटिंग टेबल बट इट इज जस्ट गोइंग टू हैव द ऑल पॉसिबल राउटिंग टेबल्स बट इट इज जस्ट गोइंग टू गिव द राउटिंग टेबल इन्फॉर्मेशन टू वी एच सो वी एच ऑल्सो हैविंग राउटिंग टेबल्स दिस ऑल डिवाइस हैविंग राउटिंग टेबल्स और ये राउटिंग टेबल इट विल कम फ्रॉम द वी स्मार्ट टू द वी एच अच्छा मतलब रहेंगे सारे वी एच जितने भी है मेरे right right they all are going to reach uh, yeah uh, uh, bangaj how the routing table build here ah uh, just hold I'll, i'll cover okay <laughs> i'll cover i'll cover okay, okay? because yeah, i have to show pehle man sir sorry sir sorry ek uh, no no problem no problem pehle yeah, ye mera koi bhi device jayega pehle matlab authentication process karega या मतलब सीधा ये वी स्मार्ट के पास जाएगा नहीं 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 लेट्स सपोज लेट मी लेट मी जस्ट एक्सप्लेन दिस लेट्स सपोज there is a one new router right this is a new router right right this want to join this fabric or talk to this fabric this is a new one there is no information so once you connect the power mm -hmm. you connect the wan cable by any other transport you need to connect na <clears throat> and once you connect the lan cable to the switch so power is on wan is connected lan is connected so first thing they will reach to the v bound right and v bound will authenticate it this is the first thing via the transport mm -hmm. so once it is going to be authenticated then v bound will pass the information to the v manage v is smart someone you uh, newly reached to you right then v manage is going to push the configuration whatever the configuration is going to get to the v manage all configuration is going to push to the vh right based on the configuration they are going to build the routing omp session with the v smart then they will get the all routing information from here and once they have routing information they will start talking to this routers 
This is the step, the high level steps. I'll explain the low level, but just understand this is the high level steps, how it is going to happen. We'll copy all the configuration <laughs> to the new <coughs> Yes, we manage is responsible to copy all the configuration because this is the new, na? there is no configuration. So we'll get the configuration. We okay, manage we'll, is... We won't, we'll take only the decision that uh, where I have to send the routes and all the... No, no, we won't is just responsible to authenticate it, validate and pass the information. This is not root and all. The root is on v smart v smart. v smart yes v smart is further once he is going to get the configuration he will build the session with the v smart because mm -hmm. v smart information also going to receive from the v manager na? so he will build the omp session between the v smart then once omp session is going to build then our routing will share from the v smart to the vh right Got it. and then it is going to build the side to side communication Bangaj, in this diagram flow of the V smart V manage should not communicate with V bond, right? You, you're showing you shown. Uh, what is yeah. V manage? What is the first time you are you are you told first time the V smart and V manage should Lemme. communicate with the V bond. Once the V bond validated success, successful, then uh, V bond respect uh, respond to V smart V manage. You told right. Let me, let me let me just give me one second let me summarize in better way okay so <coughs> see oh, where it is so see this is the v smart and the vh right so first thing v smart and the vh they are going to form the omp sessions right so all these are the omp OMP. So all mm -hmm. routing is going to receive from this one, right? From okay. this OMP. Routing is going to receive from the V Smart. But oh, here is one one more flow. Yeah. But your configuration of the device, your configuration of the device, uh, uh, it is not having. Okay. But you just think about. <clears throat> there are three components. Okay, this is the here we having the one device that is the V bond, right? And one device we have that is the V manage, right? They also communicating to each other. It also communicating to each other. It also communicating. This is clear, and this also communicating to this here. This already you know that, and this also communicating to this, right? This is clear. This VH will communicate to the V bound also. <coughs> this is going to communicate to the V smart also, right? And this is also going to communicate to V manage also. So why they communicate to V V bound first time? And this is a temporary connection. Temporary connection. Why? I'll explain later stage. Once any device is going to be onboarded. The first time it is going to be authenticated by the VBOND. Once authentication done, this connection will be the broken. Not required. This is not going to require. So this can be you can remove from this list because your authentication done. So you understand mm -hmm. this information. Once yes, authentication yes, yes. done, it will say, "Hey, someone joined to new." It will pass this information to this, this, and this. Okay, clear. Yeah. Once yeah. <coughs> this information reached to vManage. We manage will check. Do I have any configuration for this new V V edge device? Do I have any configuration? If it have the configuration, it will push the all configuration to this device via netconf protocol or Yang. This is the two things. These are the protocols. Netconf or Yang via DTLS. Or TLS tunnel. I was about to come, but you guys asked me, so I just put it. So once they will push the configuration, so now this configuration having all information, even it know the V smart also, other site location also, what they need to do. So once the configuration is going to receive from the V manage, it is going to form one of the tunnel. This is the OMP tunnel for the routing to the V smart. Okay. Then once the tunnel is going to form that OMP, the route, all the routing, let's suppose this router is already serving. This router routing information is going to exchange to this device. Once the routing is exchanged, then he is going to build the IPsec tunnel direct side to site and they will communicate via directly to the branch to branch. This is your data plane traffic. 
So <coughs> routing is going to exchange via the OMP, and this OMP route is going to receive by the VH. VH once receive the routing, they know how to reach the device, and then they use the MPLS transport or internet transport, and they will build the IP tunnel here. By building the IP tunnel, they can communicate from one location to another location. Make sense, guys? Little bit. I'll cover it in detail. No worry. So we are just in very basic stage, but definitely you guys are asking. But it makes sense or not? It's still someone not understandable. So we having sir, you can see we having sir, the yeah. Please go ahead. Sir, VS is no need to go with VS Smart to reach the an, another VS. No, it is not. Not there is no connection. There is it's less routing decisions. There is no direct your traffic. Your actual data traffic is going to direct from side to side. There is no traffic is going via the VS Smart. Okay, means IP set tunnel with IP. IP yes, IP set. Your data is traffic always going to branch to branch. It is never going to use these tunnels. This is for the routing information only. So that's why you can see here we having a various tunnels information overlay tunnels. That is OMP tunnel, here DTLS tunnel, IP set tunnel, and VFD tunnels. So we having the various things here, and these all are responsible for different different functions. Make sense? I'll explain each and everything in detail. Just wait for a while. I'll explain each and everything in very detail. So <clears throat> now we understand about the V Smart functionality, right? So implement the control pin policies such as the service chaining, your uh, multi topology, multi hope. Everything is going to be managed by the V Smart. That policy in the routing. Last but not least is the data plane. This is the actual device which is known as the van edge router. Provide secure data plane with the remote edge routers. Means if you want to make the connections, you want to communicate, then they are going to provide the secure data plane. What is secure data plane? That is your nothing. It's the IPsec tunnels. So they are just going to build the IPsec tunnel over the public transport, and then your traffic is going to reach from one location to another location via the IPsec tunnel, and then you are going to communicate. So this is the something. Provide the secure data plane with the remote edge. Establish secure connect, control connection with the VS Smart. See here. So <coughs> at the same time, when building the IPsec tunnel, they also build the one of the tunnel that is the known as the your OMP tunnel. This is the OMP tunnel. So they also build the OMP tunnel. For why OMP is required? To exchange the routing information. Routing and policy information. If you need, you require this OMP ten. Implement the data plane. Yes, please. Angaj, uh, Angaj, uh, so that uh, the routing only decision the branch to branch, but not reaching to that very smart. The routing only the OMP tunnel only establish the tunnel. The traffic will happening directly branch to branch. Yeah, your data plane traffic always going to happen branch to branch, but only OMP is just going to whatever route of this router have they send to the V Smart, and further this routing information going to send V Smart to the V H router. So this is going to happen via the V Smart to just exchange the routing information. But actually, this branch want to talk to this branch, they will go via the IP signal. Mm -hmm. okay. It will. It, I know it. This is this is little bit confusing. But I'll, when I explain the labs part, you will get the very clear understanding on it. <clears throat> okay, so you hold your thoughts for time being. I, mm -hmm. I I'm sure you guys will understand everything. Okay, no sure, need to worry sure. about that. Thank you. So moving next, so the next one is like uh, implement data plane application of your routing policies. Everything you can do the policy implementation, data plane policy, localized policy, application of your routing policy. You can all define in this particular all routers. And export the performance statistics. Means how your router is performing, all the interface utilizations, your graphs, your uh, other parameters, QS, and all. If you want to export, that it can be easily done by this particular your data plane device that is a VH route. And you can integrate. You can integrate all. Traditional routing protocols. Let's suppose this branch having the VH and you having connected to your Cisco switch. 
right this let's suppose this is code switch this is cs01 and cs02 and you want to run the osp pigrp bgp vrrp it is going to be supported i'll show each and everything in our upcoming configuration so it is also going to be supported and it is also going to be work with the sd wan routers so this is going to be easily understand this all routing information and do the routing based on their these igp protocols igp and bgp protocols this is also going to support zero touch deployment this is jtp process where i'll discuss this in more in the upcoming classes and this can be physical or hardware factor okay so this is a complete your control plane data plane intro introduction or like the understanding in the deeper side what is the functionality of the data plane control plane and i hope you guys clearly understand about it all right so this is the first part of the session okay let's go and because we have to do a lot of theoretical stuff so i'm thinking to not do all theoretical stuff right now we'll discuss in the upcoming class but just try to do some lab part we all are good to do the right now lab part yeah good so, point so let's start the lab part because a lot of theoretical thing we have to understand so we do like the first half as a theoretical then we'll do the labs and later on once we have the very good understanding of theoretical part in after two or three class then probably we will go more like deeper like uh, configuration and troubleshooting the lab only because this is the main thing you just have to understand the lab part okay so the first thing whenever you just want to start your sd wan journey so this is the lab we prepare <coughs> for everyone and it is just going to give the more complex scenario where you will get the almost every feature tested throughout the sd wan solution so in this lab you can see we having the this is the, your branch location one branch location <clears throat> this is the another branch location where we are using the ch router this is the another branch location this is the another branch location this is your data centers you can see here hub site where we having a two vh these all having a single vh routers you can see here right and this is your controllers this is your control plane devices and it is always going to away from the branch or data center so this is your control plane devices where we having the v manage we having the v bound we having the v smart and another component we having the root ca so this is why i am going to use i'll explain this is the having the special purpose to use but i'll explain why i am going to use this control plane onboarding is going to happen first and once this control plane onboarding is going to be done we'll start onboarding the actual branch sites and these branch having a two connectivity one is the mpls one is the internet so probably you guys might be have a thought process why there is a two kind of the connection one is the mpls one is the internet right you must having such kind of the thought process so see before i explain this lab we just have to understand two things one is your underlay <clears throat> concept versus overlay concept so what is the underlay concept and what is the overlay concept we just have to understand and then we can move it further when i am going to explain the underlay concept so might be this sd wan having a new and market but it doesn't mean if you are become the sd wan engineer you are the good to go for everything no even sd wan in the market you should have very good knowledge about the routing and switching you should have this knowledge switching at least you have the basic knowledge but routing you should have good knowledge and especially if i am talking the routing you should have the good knowledge about the static routing and the any igp like the b sorry ospf eigrp <clears throat> and bgp this is the exterior gateway protocol so you should have this level of knowledge because 
without knowing this all and if you are trying to learn the sd band that not going to you know solve your purpose somehow you are going to a uh, struggle uh. right so i would highly recommend if you have some challenges in igp routing protocol concept especially for the eigrp osp or static routing or bgp at least you have sort of basic understanding then you are good to start with the sd band if not then i would suggest just brush up your skills and try to understand those things as well right what i was talking i was talking about the underlay and overlay so what is the underlay and what is the overlay let me just write here again underlay versus overlay so see underlay is something let's just suppose i want to build the ipsec uh, sorry i want to build the any overlay connections between controllers this is the controllers these all are the controllers so i want to build the connections right <clears throat> this connection could be the overlay and this is known as a dtls connection or tls connection tls is based on the tcp and dtls is based on the udp and these are the layer 4 they stand in the layer 4 transport layer security right tls is transport layer security so these are these are the layer 4 protocols so they are going to build the tunnel but before build the tunnel <coughs> the your basic ip reachability should be there basic ip reachability should be there so if there is no ip reachability basic you cannot form the your tls and dtls tunnel so whenever i am talking the basic ip reachability <clears throat> it's known as a underlay so what does means so that means if you are trying to build any tunnel any tunnel let me just give some idea let me just use this one okay so if i'm we are talking about the underlay versus overlay right this we are discussing so let's just suppose there are three routers r1 R two, basic topology I'm explaining. R three. There should be some IP like dot one, dot two, dot one, dot two. This could be the subnet of ten dot ten dot ten dot zero slash twenty four, and here could be the twenty dot twenty dot twenty dot zero slash twenty four. These are the two subnets, right? So I just define the IP address. Someone ask me to build the IPsec tunnel. The first requirement to build the IPsec tunnel. But let me just do one thing more. I just want to define an IP this way. Let's suppose this is the twelve dot zero dot zero dot zero slash twenty four. This is a twenty three dot zero dot zero dot zero slash twenty four. Why I use this become the public IP address. Okay, so these are the public IP address. So someone ask you to build the IPsec tunnel. <clears throat> so the first thing to build the IPsec tunnel, there is a prerequisite. What is the prerequisite? Your this interface ip address means 12.0.0.1 should able to reach 23.0.0.2 <clears throat> this is the prerequisite if you are not able to ping from here to here this ping is not working or there is no if ping is somehow block here you you don't have the reachability information you cannot build the ip sectional <clears throat> this is the prerequisite without making the your reachability from one public ip address to another public ip address you cannot build the any kind of the tunnels so whenever i am talking about the prerequisite the reachability 
it always refer as the underlay concept means your underlay should be reachable so how it is going to reachable how it is going to reachable there is a two option i can make this reachable via the static route static route yeah <clears throat> or i can run any dynamic routing protocol yeah dynamic routing protocol like the ospf or eigrp or i can run the bgp these are the things so once i use this all to make them reachable so this can reach to this this is known as your underlay concept so you're just making the basic ipv4 reachability basic ipv4 or ipv6 <clears throat> reachability is known as underlay right so i hope you guys understand so this is your underlay concept so once you having the basic ipv4 reachability you are good with the underlay and you can start building something known as the overlay so overlay then only possible you can create the tunnels from this location to this location so you can form the tunnel so now you able to reach from here to here this is the, your underlay and this is the tunnel what you are creating this is your overlay concept so in our concept <clears throat> we having a multiple overlay technology one is the ipsec dmvpn dmvpn gre right these are the legacy native things and just think about the vxlan also right we having the lisp protocol these are the overlay right these are all the overlay but if you're talking about the sd wan similarly we having the omp right we having a dtls we having a tls we having the ipsec these all are going to be huge as a overlay got it so to build this overlay again <coughs> omp dtls tls again we require the basic ip reachability so i i am just giving you the legacy cisco environment solution but if you just compare with the cisco sd wan solution it is going to remain same so coming back to the lab coming back to the lab you can see here just think this is one router okay this is one router and this is one router right if they want to build some sort of the communication to just build the overlay communication they first reach to each other either via this circuit or via this circuit so we'll understand so this is this become your underlay so means from here you should able to ping here <coughs> or from here you should ping to here so once you able to ping this all this both is going to known as the underlay concept right this is known as the underlay concept once Can you have the most important sir for yes. sd1 yes without and you can't do anything मतलब सर रिचेबिलिटी करनी है कैसे भी हो मतलब आईजीपी हां रिचेबिलिटी इज मस्ट आपको रिचेबिलिटी करनी ही पड़ेगी विदाउट ऊपर मेरा आईपी सेक टनल बैठेगा उसके ऊपर मेरी ओवरले चलेगी हां सो हाय पंकज यस सॉरी फॉर द इंटरप्ट टुडे आई एम ड्राफ्टिंग द कॉल एक्चुअली ड्यू टू सम पर्सनल वर्क प्लान नो प्रॉब्लम यू हैव टू वॉच द रिकॉर्डिंग बिकॉज़ द क्लास इज गोइंग टू हैपन नेक्स्ट 30 मिनट मोर ओके कैन वी वाइंड अप इट टुडे अर्ली okay you you guys want want to wind up today early yes okay so just give me a 5 minute okay then i'll not going to configure the lab so probably we'll do that next but guys please understand from next class onward we just have to stay at least 2 hours okay minimum yeah sure sure okay? today is sure. delay yeah yeah, yeah, okay, 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 yeah okay no problem so we understand the underlay and overlay concept so next class we'll do the lab configuration part okay sure all right okay. Thank you. So, any other question, guys? So, I'm not going to touch further more topics. Okay. Anji sir. All right. So. मेरा 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 एक छोटा सा पूछना है. हाँ बताइए बताइए. Tell me. Uh, <coughs> जब भी आपने कहा था कि uh, routing की अच्छी knowledge होनी चाहिए EIGRP या OSPF की और BGP. हम्म. तो मुझे इसलिए EIGRP और OSPF की basic knowledge है और साथ साथ मेरा भी चल भी रहा है course मतलब कि. हम्म. तो क्या मैं करूं या ना करूं? हम जस्ट देखो दो 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 चीजें हैं ठीक है 
कि अगर आपको ये पता है कि मैं आपको सुना देता हूँ अपने आप से पूछना कि यू नो द आंसर अगर आपको आंसर पता है तो आप करना नहीं पता तो मत करना ठीक है ये तीन राउटर्स हैं मैं यहाँ पे एक लुक बैग बना देता हूँ ठीक है वन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन यहाँ पे एक लुक बैग बना देता हूँ थ्री डॉट थ्री डॉट थ्री डॉट थ्री मैं इसको बोलता हूँ स्टैटिक राउट से इसको रिचिबिलिटी करा दो क्या आप करा पाओगे करा दोगे सेम चीज में बोलता हूँ कि इसको आप ओ एस पी एफ से रिचिबिलिटी करा दो करा दोगे आप करा दूंगा और बीजेपी से बोलूँ तो वो नहीं करा पाऊंगा <laughs> कोई बात नहीं सो so, जब आपको इतनी पता है बेसिक नॉलेज है तो थोड़ी बहुत बीजेपी तो बी, बीजेपी का मैं सिखा दूंगा इसमें बीजेपी कैसे बेसिक कन्फिगेशन इसमें आपको बेसिक ही सीखना है आपको इतना पता नहीं बीजेपी के नेबरशिप कैसे बनता है ठीक है जब इतना पता है स्ट्रेटिक और इसमें पता है तो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड सो यहाँ तो हम स्ट्रेटिक यूज करेंगे तो यहाँ पे तो कोई दिक्कत होगी नहीं आपको लेकिन बीजेपी में हम यहाँ पे एक नेबरशिप बनाऊंगा मैं यहाँ पे तो स्ट्रेटिक वाला तो आप बोल रहे हो आपको आता है तो देर इज नो गोइंग टू प्रॉब्लम बाकी जो बीजेपी का जो कॉन्सेप्ट आपको नहीं आता है तो कैसे बीजेपी के बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट होते हैं और कैसे हम ई बीजेपी आई बीजेपी बनाते हैं वो मैं सिखा दूंगा आपको तो यूल गेट डेट ऑल नॉलेज इन्फॉर्मेशन तो आप कर सकते हो कोई दिक्कत की बात नहीं है और व्हाट इफ अगर जैसे कि आपका एक कोर्स हुआ अगर मुझे बहुत हद तक कुछ चीज अगर मेरे ठीक हो गई तो क्या मैं वो अगले आपके नेक्स्ट कोर्स में क्या वो मैं उसको फर्दर कंटिन्यू कर सकता हूँ आपसे बेटर कौन जान सकता है इस बारे में नहीं नहीं हंड्रेड परसेंट कर यार एक बार दो बार तीन बार पांच बार कर लेना कोई दिक्कत की बात नहीं ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है